So, hey everybody, it's the Last Raider, and I think that Twitch is going the way of Marvel. Um, Twitch has now started a new trust and safety council. These are going to be Twitch streamers who have a lot of influence. I know we're jumping right into this. I haven't done much of an intro, but I'm trying to get facts out there. Just, you know, trying to compress this into a nice meaty video so you guys feel like you got a lot of information. But anyway... I want to tell everybody, do remember to subscribe <laughs> to the video because by doing this, by doing this video, I'm probably ending my Twitch career before I have even started one. <laughs> All right. Um, this person that you're seeing on the screen here is called Ferociously Steph. And um, this is apparently a dude trying to be a chick who thinks they're a, who thinks they're a deer and they've got antlers on. Yeah, uh, this person has never apparently gone deer hunting or anything, or, or has even looked up what a deer is, or done any kind of real research on them. Uh, female deers do not have horns, number one. They do not have antlers. It's only the males that have antlers. So, I mean, I don't know how you're going to be a female deer, but be male with antlers, be a male deer, I mean, we, we've done the trans thing. Maybe it's a transsexual deer. It has the antlers, but had its balls chopped off. I have no idea. But, but this is kind of concerning because this person has now been given review and ban power at Twitch. In other words, this person is going to be the one walk is going to be one of the few people walking around deciding what content gets to stay on Twitch and what content don't. And uh, I'm going to tell you something now. I, oh boy, there's some interesting videos. There's one where this person's talking about going out into their yard and uh, getting down on all fours, prancing around and eating the grass. I'm, I'm not shitting. I, I'm not shitting you. I wish I was. This is, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, um, you know, Nero at one point in time tried to elect his horse to Senate, and that makes more sense than this, all right? <laughs> At least the horse knows what it is. <laughs> this this person's confused as all get out. I'm probably getting banned off YouTube for this video, but hey, let's keep going. Anyway, oh man, what really is bad is the mentality of this person. This person is supposed to be on a platform that was started by people who play video games getting out there and playing games, all right? Now, I want you to hear what they're going to say, and then I'm going to respond to it as an outright challenge to Ferociously Steph, okay? Well, no, I just, I'm just not cool with white supremacy, y'all. It's really not that, I think a lot of you gamers are actually white supremacists. Sorry. Just a fact of how I feel, which is not Okay. So, a lot of the gamers are white supremacists. Um, Steph, I, I hate to say something to you, but you realize that gaming is a global phenomenon. Okay? There are people in Brazil playing games. There are people in Africa playing games. I be there's a few of them. There are people, most of your gamers come from China, Japan a lot of South American countries, and then you've got the United States, which has one of the largest gaming populations in the world, and the United States is only 50% white, or barely 50% white, I think. I think it's somewhere around 60%. And you've, you've gotten onto the platform and said a vast majority of the gamers are white supremacists. Well, where are these vast majority that are white? Because if you go down to Brazil, that's mostly Hispanic. Over in China, that's... They probably have way more gamers than the United States even has. Most of them are Chinese right now. I mean, the fuck kind of stupid, ignorant, dumbass comment comes from someone who clearly has mental problems. Okay? I'm in a conflicted point because I've had to take care of people with problems like this. All right? I've had to take care of people that have had problems like this. 
I've had to go in and volunteer at places that had meant that were people who had mental issues. And I feel sorry for someone like this because they can't help the mental issues they got. But then at the same time, I kind of want to just slap the freaking shit out of you for going out there. And for the second time, I mean, God, fuck. It's like ever since that Anita Sarkeesian came out there and did her bullshit on gaming, now all gamers have been painted with this brush of racism. Do you realize that of the four guys that I play games with, only one of them is white, and it's not even me. I'm the fucking Jew in the group. I got another guy who's probably freaking black. One dude lives in Tennessee. He's probably the white boy, and the other guy is over in New York, and he's Hispanic. Ecuadorian, man, who gets pissed off when you call him a Mexican. I mean, God, frick. And you're telling me, all ga I think most of you gamers are white supremacists. No, no, you, you're some mental case that they got. And this is the thing that irritates me. Twitch has gotten this person out, and it's, it's the same problem that we have in comic books. When you do a gay character with a bunch of SJWs, by the way, to all you Twitch streamers out there, shit's about to get down and get really bad because they gave this person power just like they gave this a person like this power over at Star Wars, like they gave a person power like this over at Sony to do Ghostbusters, over at Marvel, over at DC. When these idiots get a position of influence, like ferociously Steph has gotten here, they're going to start going through and destroying anyone who's not like them. And you look at this. How many of these boxes do you check right here on, as a streamer? You're just down the list. Think of Hitler's list. We're starting with the Jews. Then it goes to the blacks. And then we start eliminating every, every brown person from, a lot, from black to, bra to, a darker, to a lighter shade of brown. Okay? Until you finally get to pure Aryan. Even the whites in this, even the whites in this nonsense are not, are not protected from this. All right? God! This is how dumb this is, okay? This is, this is one of those things that's like a shield. It's like why you can't make good... Uh, TV shows are good stuff about gay people because if you show them, if you hurt them, if you, if you make them suffer in any way whatsoever, a bunch, 12 psychos on Twitter jump up there and start screaming that you're racist, you're sexist, you're a homophobe. So you have to give them and make them perfect in every single way and they become a baseless, pointless, cookie cutter, Mary Sue or Marty stew. Dear God. And now this is what Twitch has done because they don't want any backlash for getting rid of certain groups of people. So they put this person on there. So if you bitch and moan about getting banned by this person, oh my God, you're you're a transphobe. You're, you're something else. Bullshit. You you know what? You take any, any race, any race, any race. I'm a Jew. I'll say it right now. I think most of y'all are just Jewish supremacists. That sounds racist as fuck. Okay, it sounds racist as fuck. I can say it because I'm a Jew, so fuck you guys. Well, you take any other race out there and say what this idiot said. I, I, I think most of you gamers are Jew supremacists. That It's, anti, it's called anti-Semitic. Here's the thing. You're never going to get rid of racism if you don't stop acting fucking racist. The problem is there's this new definition of racism going around, which is a false definition. It's of, oh, you know, uh, the, the group of society that has the most power, they're the ones that's racist. By that fucking knowledge, folks, blacks over in Africa, in South Africa, who have all the political power, they're racist. Okay? Uh, Y'all are basically claiming they're racist because they have all the political power over in Africa. And you can say all you want about everything else, but the society is specifically designed, has now got all the power. It rests in the hands of black councilmen, black mayors, black um, representatives, a black president over there in South Africa. That's just saying. You're saying that about China. They're, they're, Chinese, they're Asian supremacists in China and Japan and Taiwan and the Philippines. Oh, it sounds bad. Now, racism is very easy to define, all right? It is the hatred for someone based on their race. And if you go by that definition, this person here is racist. Lots of people are racist. There's a lot of people. There are a lot of blacks. There are some Jews that are effing racist. And I'm willing to call that one out right now. ADL's got some racist people in their group. But, I mean, here's the story. It's just so damn stupid because you're going to put this person up there and no one's going to question what they're doing. My, meanwhile, 
this person right here, okay, they go outside and they eat grass off of a lawn. All right? Here's the thing. Not all grass can be eaten. All right? I'm a country boy and I know that. You get certain types of geraniums, they're going to poison the fuck out of your body. This idiot doesn't know that. Okay? I promise you. You could plant some kind of weed out in their yard that was poisonous. They walk over and eat it, and they have a stamp. <laughs> You'd be here about them getting their stomach pumped. I'm not saying people should do that. I'm saying this is how stupid this person is. All right? This is, they, they are, they're either really stupid, they're looking for attention, or they are really mentally challenged, and they shouldn't have been put in this position to begin with. But Twitch has put them there because they're checking all kinds of boxes. By the way, another thing I want to mention, this is a dude, like I said before, this is a dude who thinks he's a girl who believes that they're a deer. And so for some reason, they wear antlers all the time. Like I said, none of it makes any, any kind of goddamn sense. And I'm sitting here watching all this. Oh my God. It's just, you know where this is going. I've seen it in gaming I've seen it in comics. I've seen it in movies. And now it's on Twitch. Y'all best get ready. Twitch has been taken over by the board. I said this before in a, in, a, in a video a while back. Anything, if you've got a hobby, if you've got something you like to do and it gets popular, get ready. Because the SJW Borgs will come in, they will get positions of influence, and they will assimilate it. Twitch is going to become a propaganda machine in about... Five years. That is that is my that is my guess. Unless someone does something, unless Twitch does something. Like I said, I I'm probably never going to use Twitch after this because some of the stuff I talk about. Oh no, no, Twitch would not want me on there. <laughs> this person would find out about it and go after me. I mean, and uh, oh man, it's just it's horrible. I mean, I I feel bad for this person. I feel bad for them because I, I I think they're just being taken advantage of. Let me see here. See if I can find the... Here it is. I'm going to go out to my yard and I... And I now here's, um, here's, here's this person talking about being a deer out in the yard. You tell me if this is the person you want making decisions on whether your video should be allowed on Twitch or not. Okay, because you know people like this do not have the test the intestinal fortitude to withstand any kind of criticism. Anything will piss a person like this off. Okay, so you're 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 stepping. Twitch has now gone from a free place where you can roam and, and go around to a land now of barbed wire and landmines. All right, one wrong step now, and you will get your entire channel nuked. Promise you. Listen to this. So in my in my spare time. I go out to my yard. In my spare time, I go out to my yard and I and I prance around and I and I eat grass and I, and I just watch it because it helps me feel like in tune with my dear self. So I do my best. I do my best to be. Um, so in my. I used you see where this is going. Okay. Like I'm gonna get I'm gonna get mouthed at for being a transphobe or some nonsense. I'm sitting here like no 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 no. This is this person has mental issues in my opinion. All right. This is like this is like taking uh what was it Bubba and Forrest Gump when they go to war. Every everybody knew them idiots were were had mental problems. Do you think that the you think they thought about sending them into a combat zone? Nah. They could pick up a gun and shoot. That's all we care about. You felt bad for Forrest Gump for being a retarded man going out there, uh, having mental issues, going out into a war, and he doesn't quite comprehend. He understands that he's fighting, but he's not all. He's not totally all in it. And you can tell he's just been drafted into it. That's what this person is. They've given them power, and this person will abuse it. Because they're not going to make, they're, they're either going to abuse this power or they're going to completely make some stupid decisions and they're going to shape the platform whether you like it or not. There's one video of this idiot jumping up there, dancing around saying, I'm on Twitch and I can't be blocked and I can't, I can't be kicked off because Twitch is promoting me. And I'm like, 
You're up there dancing around telling everyone that you have God mode activated. Twitch has given this person God mode. They're up there bragging about it. <coughs> it's like, dang. I'm sorry. If I'm running a company and you jump up there and start bragging about how you can't be gotten off Twitch, uh-uh. I'm coming in there personally shutting you down saying, no, no, no. You don't go up there and tell everyone you can't be banned off Twitch. You have to be the same as everyone else. This person now has privilege granted by Twitter. No one, or not Twitter, granted by Twitch and no one else. They are now privileged. They have the privilege to say whatever they want. On Twitch's platform, this person now has more freedom of speech than you do. Because they can say whatever they want, Twitch will do nothing, and if you speak out or even correct them, say this person is wrong, they've already been gotten, I can't find the the pick of it, but someone on here actually put up where uh, Ferociously Stefan was on here saying, oh, you know, uh, was talking about how they went to a, a meet or something, a game tournament, and they said they, they went second place and someone came out and said something against it and corrected it. This person went out there and said something wrong. This other chick goes out, gets proof of it from the site. And this other, and ferociously Stefan's on there jumping and screaming and going after him on Twitch or, or on the Twitter or Facebook, having a DM fight with them. And it's like, this is a person who probably is lying. Okay. We, we've already got proof that they're lying right now and you correct them on their lie with proof, they will just ban you from the platform. Congratulations, your freedom of speech on the plat on Twitch has been revoked. How do you feel about that? It's gonna be hilarious when the Twitch thoughts run into this person right here, okay? Little dear, little Bambi wannabe goes out there and, oh, you know, I don't, it goes out there and says something about thoughts, you know? I don't know why these chicks have to go out there and show their boobs and everything and, and act like this, you know? And they're, they'll, and you know, the Twitch thoughts will do their one thing. She'll be like, nope, ban the thought. Lots of Twitch people are going to get banned because this person will disagree with them. And as I said, you just take a good long look at this person. I mean, take a good long look at them. How many check marks do you, how many boxes do you check? You're, you're not like this individual. And they will remove you from the platform to make it their space. It will not be your space anymore. I don't know why companies do this. If I saw this person walk into the room, I just look over to my partner and I, I just pass a card under there and said, do you see that pink hair? You, you, do you see the blue hair? Yeah, we're not hiring blue. We don't hire blue hairs. <laughs> Are you sure? No. <laughs> as soon as you leave the room, no, no, we all have a strict policy of professionalism. I swear to God, I want to do my own game just so I can piss everybody off. Do it right, make a million dollars at it. I know it would sell. Game with a hot chick in it, and not this other bullcrap, zero politics, and just a really good story. Phenomenal gameplay, something where you can go in there and feel like you've accomplished something. Gameplay that's difficult enough to make you feel like you've accomplished something, but visually impressive. Mostly thong up skirt shots is going to be through the whole game with some intense uh, button mashing combos. Anyway, I'm the last Raider, folks. Um, yeah, uh, press F in the chat for Twitch. <laughs> That's all I got to say, because that platform is about to get annihilated. When you've got someone like this who's going to go on there and start destroying other Twitch users and start removing their content and banning it, in between going outside and eating grass out of the yard, um, you you know you know the platform's probably going to be dead here pretty soon. All right, Twitch Twitch was was pretty cool. I liked it. I've messed around with it. You know, I've I've watched users on Twitch, but this here, this kind of um, yeah, this kind of destroys it for me right here. It's like um, this is that video that they're going to pull out when I try to get if I ever try to get on Twitch. They're going to pull this video out and they're going to be like, well, you know, a while back, the last Raider said this about one of our trust and safety board people like, and it's not like there's, and it's not like Twitch made a bunch of bad decisions. There were people, I've, I've listened to some uh, Twitch streamers who have said they've got, there's like two guys on there 
And there's a couple other people that are like, we would totally trust these people to make decisions 100% because they know what they're doing. This person, the, almost all of them were like, we don't know who this person is. And then they come back, they're like, oh my God, why would they hire this? Anyway, folks, uh, tell me what you think in the comments. <clears throat> Be sure to like and also subscribe. If you're new to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. And as always, keep your head on a swivel. Stay frosty, folks. Uh, and remember, if you've got a hobby, watch it carefully because the, be on the lookout and be ready because the SJWs, they are coming. I'm the Last Raider, and I'll see you guys in the next video.